O Mary, the perfect absolute virgin, you receive grace from God, was with you and God a lot of riches from heaven to earth, which the angel of God who ascended and descend with Jacob so faithful for us so This is 
ตสุนยุนความหายมองถึงประตูทางวุจดานิลพรหมตสุน It represents the word that came forth from the Father. He gave man was a kind of a virgin without seed of man and redeemed us all. Bread went for us all.
Let's get it over. 
Hello. Uh-huh. 
For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted in evil, neither tempted he any man. But any man is tempted and he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. Do not error, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no rightfulness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of fresh fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of men work in the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye girls of the word, and not heroes only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hero of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man, beholding his natural face in glass. Amen. Resting at the twenty third verse. The blessed. O oh, my God, they love not the world, he the things that in the world, for the world passing in the lust thereof, for it's passing, for it comes to such a trinity, preserve our congregation, for thy holy like disciples say, comfort us in thy mercy, for thy holy And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify 
than the deceived, which was ordained of God to be judge of the quick and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Let's hear verse 43. Well, I'm great and exalted is the word of God and I am in the Holy Church. And many are they that believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only glory world without us. Amen.
Your 
that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Stop there for a minute. That, even from the days of Sunday school time, they still not perish. Would have everlasting life? Hmm. How is that going to happen? When you had to go to funerals with your great grandmother and your grandfathers and your friends and so on, is that what it's called? Not perish? But then as we move up in to the life that God has put in us, we begin to understand what everlasting life is all about. And how do we get to that everlasting life? One thing that I used to love to do with the youngsters sang all kinds of choirs. I love to go and, and sing, and they told me I had a very good, I mean, look, I knew they were fooling me. They had a very good voice. And then there was this oratorio that when Holy Week and Lenten came around, John Steiner wrote this. And it's beautiful music when you hear it uh, in all the different parts. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I did not begin to understand that until I was in seminary. Everlasting life. God so loved the world that we shall not perish. You talking all about our bodies? No, because we know what happens to our bodies with it. But you pass them. But that everlasting life That's why we are here now, refreshing our memories about the God that loved the whole world, the world that He created. Sometimes when I listen to the, or now you don't, want, you don't need to listen to the television anymore, you can just pick up that little. That's why you better put it back. I hate that many. And you can pick up and you get all the news. And they can tell you what's going to happen with the rain, where it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I want to look up for. Okay. Lots of times they are correct. But the majority of time they said, well, the wind went the other way and it took it that way. So, those what well, will not have that rainfall or that snow. Well, you know something, if I'm still waiting for the first day of snow in, in Trinidad and Tobago. There, there, it could happen anywhere. But God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him. And my dear lady, we're not leaving our blame. But that's, that's how the English put it to us. You know, we all That's his idea. Well, why are you talking about it? 
hymns and what about the birds? Well, let's open all. God so loved the people he created. All of us. But you know, there's one major problem. I used to call it minor, but it is a major problem. It's relationship with each other. Oh my God. Relationship. Is that person that irritates you the same person that that oratory says, God so loved the world? Is this misery that we go through with parts of our creation? Now, remember now, I'm not saying we created it, but you see the creation that God has given to us. I have a problem. And you know what? Problem only came about when I became an Ethiopian Orthodox. Well, my left hand is a hand that I taught how to use from a child. And the very first time I met Abba, having a baby. And I was there straightening it up with my left hand. Well, I got told about use your right hand. Use your right hand, not the left hand. So I learned what to say. You sit it on the right hand of God. Oh, for everything is done on the right side. So that's what they mean by right and wrong. That's what we learn as children. You do the right thing or you do the wrong thing. And then you know I got so smart. I said, but well, wait a minute. My heart is on the left side of my body. I've never heard of any human being with their heart on the right side of their body. So how come it is you shouldn't lose your left hand? And then of course, here come the scriptures again. You sit it on the right hand of the Father. And you shall come again with joy and pleasure. Oh well, my heart will stay on the left side. But all the joy and pleasure that we have with our Creator will be sitting on the right hand of God the Father. It is difficult for us to carry on relationships among ourselves. It is most difficult because every moment of the day, every moment of the day, the tempter is always putting something into the mind of someone that you thought was a great friend or put it into our mind something that should not be there. And sometimes we have to lose what we call friendship. But 
we do know that God so loved the world that he had given everything for us. He said, have the note shall pass away, but my word will not pass away. God so loved the world. He loved us all. But you know that other guy, this is my great grandmother, he said, hey, don't mention that word in this house. You call him the other guy. I mean, the one that began with S and came with N. You come into that house with that and that ball over to be ready to worship. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But it's so difficult. So difficult to have that attribute of, of God loving the entire world. Because the minute that that other guy that was sent down below he tempted, the temptation is always there towards us. Sometimes we have people who we think are your best friends. Turns out to be, you've been used. But yet, the scripture tells us, God so loved the world that as long as we believe that this is an attribute, this is one attribute that we have between God and ourselves. Love. Love ye one another as I have loved you. Yes. God is still loving the world. And we need to love each other. Correction at times, yes. But when we correct the soul of another person under all care or under our guidance or faith, Don't we dare do it as if we are God. Yes, we are the sons of God, but we are not God. We can't do everything in this world. God loves the world. And with all the things that are going wrong in this world, God still loves the world. God, please, we should be begging to put that love into our minds, into our bodies, every moment of the day. Because that other fellow, and you see, when you deal with it, uh, fell on the something that I mean, we are, I tell you, if you're a felon, you know you're going into the brig. You've done something wrong. But don't forget that felon that is teasing us and tempting us on a daily basis, every second of our lives. He was up there at one time. And so we should not be attempted to be like, we know it all. We might end up where we should not be. We should be thanking God for everything that we have. There is the possibility that we think we're doing it ourselves. Oh yes. But this is one thing, one attribute of God that we do not have. Nothing in this world we created. You ever listen to the word I'm using? Create. We have not created a single thing in this world. 
this world. God created every single thing in this world. Then He created us and He given us the kind of glory that they are oh, not listening. See this new thing here? If you put this with this, you will get this. And then, we do it. Those who have that kind of stuff in their brain, they do it and then rush out there and say, look what I created. Nothing in this world was created by us. We are the only one that God created so that we continue our lives and our duties to Him. Not everyone can turn to Him to God so love the world. Even those who have been taught that, we have this habit of saying, well, what did the Kula Dharma say? You don't have the thing to pay your bills, but you say, well, you know, if you go and you play that number and you do that number and so on, uh, you know what? If it's to happen, it happens. But do not <coughs> say that God told me to do that. Not the way that God loves us. But yes, sir, when we see someone who has been created by the same God that created us and that person is in trouble, don't turn your back again, him or her. And please do not be able to say to them, look, I told you not to do so and so on. You can't tell anybody anything. God so loves the world. <laughs> but be kind. Be generous. Be loving. Don't ever give up on any creation of God. Unless it's one of those things that know is going to put us down below instead of going up. We are creation of the God that created the whole world. You know why we say in the beginning was the world and the world was the God? In the beginning? You see, there are, there are some people say they are scientists and they can tell you exactly the time, the minute and so on that the world began. Don't believe it. The only thing that we know in the beginning was the world and the world is, is God. And that world is among us. And we are here getting refreshed with such a thing. Know that, yes, this belongs to God. Give God the glory. Nothing that we have done in our lives came from ourselves with no the glory of God. Some of us can do this. Some of us can do that. And then we ask each other, well, how did you get to do that? Well, you know how we are. We can say, well, I put this there and I put that there and go. You didn't really put a thing there. You gave my method there. And they said we could mix this with that, with the brain that the Lord gave us, and then we come up with it. Everything that we have in front of us comes from the creation of the Creator, God who brought us here, with God who loved us here, with God who when the time comes will say, come ye blessed. 
of my the kingdom is here for me. So as we reflect and go through all what we've done since last year, and all the new things that have gone through the world that were coming to the world. Thank you for the 